Saltbin director Emerald Fennell reveals the interesting origins of the film's title. The new movie is Fennell's sophomore directorial feature, following her hit film Promising Young Woman. Saltbin has received positive reviews and has shocked both theatrical audiences and those now catching it on streaming with its outlandish twists and gasp-inducing scenes. This has sparked some divisive responses online amid the complimentary reviews. Speaking with Access Hollywood, Fennell explains how Saltbun got its title. Fennell first explained that Saltbun is the name of a real town in England. The writer-director chose that name specifically because it sounded like a sex injury, but a really nice one that is almost like a pleasurable sting, which she felt suited the film. Check out the full quote from Fennell below. Why Saltbun is indeed a pleasurable sting. For all the lies, deception, and death present in Saltbun, there are equal amounts of erotic energy, crafting the kind of sensual sex injury effect that Fennel references. Star Barry Keoghan's Canilingus scene is as lewd as it is titillating, as Oliver surfaces from the ravenous moment blood-soaked yet satiated. In a similar vein, the infamous bathtub scene is viscerally disgusting but provides a fascinating quality to the grotesque attraction Oliver feels for Felix. Saltbun is also a pleasurable sting, not just by the nature of its sexual sequences, but by how it operates as a whole. Saltbun's shocking ending reveals that Oliver is not speaking with a therapist as the voiceover might suggest, but rather a comatose version of Elspeth, the last surviving member of the Catton family. It is there that Saltbun delivers its final twist in revealing how calculated Oliver was during the entire movie redoing scenes in which viewers initially sympathized with him. Saltbun perhaps earns its title specifically in the ending sequence, where Oliver honors the death of all four Catons by dancing, naked, in their mansion. By that point, the movie is a pleasurable sting with both eroticism and plot construction, showcasing its perverted protagonist in full devious glory. Therefore, while Saltbun's title may have had an unusual motivation, the moniker works even better knowing the intentions behind Fennel's choice.